do 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 I'm making my own song so I don't get my videos pulled off YouTube. Beat me, Japan! Hey guys, it's Chibi, and I am back. You guys have asked for a new video for a long time, and I've been uh, a little lazy, I guess, but welcome to the very first episode of Eat Me Japan, formerly known as Lunch with Chibi D, but I decided, you know, sometimes I eat and it's not lunch, and you might like to see it on video. So here we are, very special first episode today, because we got a lot going on, and let me just pull this bag over here. I just got back from 7-Eleven, and we got the all-new summer Pepsi drink. Now, you may remember the famous uh, Pepsi cucumber video that I did quite some time ago. And here we are. Boy, can this thing zoom in any slower? This is Pepsi Caribbean Gold. So we're going to be having that with our lunch. And let me uh, zoom back out here. Now, also at 7-Eleven, I picked up a few other things. We got this bag of edamame. And I got Tororo Soba, which could also be known as Bukake Soba. Now, you may know Bukake as something else. In fact, if you live in America, you probably call it Bukake, just like you call karaoke, karaoke. But that's how you say it properly, or more properly, at least, if it's not 100%, right? So let's, I don't know what to do first. Should we go with the, the Pepsi Caribbean Gold? Nah, why not? Bam! I did drop this, so it's a little, uh, okay. Here we go. Now, mmm, it does smell like the Caribbean. Hmm. Now it says white sapote flavor. Now, I don't know what sapote is. I probably should have looked that up beforehand, but here we go. It smells pretty good. Let's try a little sip of that first because I am pretty thirsty. Mm. Let's get that back. Mm. You know what? That is not bad. It it tastes a little bit like ginger ale with more sugar in it. And uh, actually like vanilla. It tastes like a vanilla ginger ale. That's exactly what it tastes like. This is good. Much better than Pepsi cucumber. Well, a kick in the nuts is better than Pepsi cucumber. So let me now school you on this Tororo Soba or Bukake Soba, if you're so inclined. Now this was all bought at 7-Eleven for about 650 yen, which with the weak US dollar is about $45. No, no, it's not. It's probably uh, like eight or nine dollars. So let's open this up here. Everything in Japan, food-wise, is meticulously packaged and wrapped. Now this is the Bukake part, the Tarora, which is grated mountain yam. So it's a grated mountain potato. They've got some diced cucumber and uh, onion in here, green onion. They've got some seaweed, uh, shredded seaweed in here as well. And you've got the actual sauce and some wasabi. And of course, the, the soba noodles, the, the buckwheat noodles. So I got my uh, my chopsticks here, and wow, <laughs> now it sort of comes out as like one piece, which isn't very appetizing. But once you start adding the liquids, it gets a lot better. So let's let's go sauce first. Now we'll try. Well, let's move this out of the way here. Now we dump the sauce in here, and I didn't get any on me, which is always a victory. Okay, so we got that. And now we can mix it up a little bit, and hopefully the, the noodles start to come across. Oh, I lied. I did get it on my pants, actually. So now, now you see the noodles are, have come apart, and then it's not nearly as disgusting as it was before. Good, good thing I wore a white shirt today. Okay, so we did that. Uh, now we can, uh, we can put the wasabi in. Why not? Now it's like the fake wasabi that comes in here, so we'll put that in there. We can mix that around as well. Uh, and now for the uh, Tororo, the grated mountain yam, the bukake. Now, bukake really means, I think in Japanese it means like sprinkled on top or put on top. It doesn't, it's not called bukake because it's white and it looks like semen. That's just, uh, that's disgusting, quite frankly. Let's pour that on. 
no, it's actually, this is, I really love uh, Tororo, which is what they call this stuff. Uh, it's really good, especially in the summertime. It's nice and refreshing. All right, now, now doesn't that look nice, kids? Mm. Oh, well, we got to put on our, wow, I made a big mess already. Put on our cucumber and green onion, really nice. And our shredded uh, nori, our seaweed. Got a little on my leg there. Oh, and I got to open up the edamame as well. I've never actually had the edamame. Wow, it has, here, I got to get up and show you the packaging here. See, it shows how to open it. And so just, oh, I kicked the table, sorry. It's a very professional show here. Uh, <laughs> just simply pull, pull it apart like that. And yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay. Let's get that out of here. Hmm. Those are good. Very good. I love uh, edamame. These are, these are soybeans. And these are good for you. High in protein, I think. Mmm. And now, well, let me get the edamame out of my stuff here. Now I can show you the proper way to eat soba, or any noodle in Japan. Although this one, okay, let me give you a nice, uh, good look at that. Oh, I just dripped the sauce all over my MacBook Air, <laughs> which is awesome. Oh, God, this is not going well. All right, <laughs> I might as well show you the MacBook Air with the sauce on it for full effect. Yeah, that's good. That's what you want. That's exactly what you want. To happen in the inaugural episode of Eat Me Japan. So now I will eat the soba. Mmm, doesn't this look good? Mmm. 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 It's actually really good. Despite the fact that I bought it at 7-Eleven, it is actually quite good. Now, in Japan, you're allowed to slurp the noodles. In fact, you're supposed to slurp the noodles. Because I think you get more flavor out of it. And really taste everything when you slurp it. Um, you don't slurp spaghetti here. Just uh, like Japanese noodles. Mm. Look at that. Here, this time I, I won't spill it. See? Hmm. Hmm. Wash that down with a little Caribbean gold. Yeah, I could go for some other Caribbean gold, if you know what I mean. Hmm. That ain't bad. Not gonna lie. It's not bad. Well, I think I'm going to... Well, here, I don't know if you've ever seen edamame before. I think it's pretty popular in the States now, but it's a uh, soybean in here and you have to actually like pop the bean out and you can see the bean comes out like that, but usually you just pop them right into your mouth. Hmm. I really do like edamame so much. I just sprinkle them liberally all over my table. That's how much I enjoy them. Well, I think that wraps up a premiere episode of Eat Me Japan. Hopefully we'll be back you know, a lot more frequently than once every six months has been in the case in the past. But I appreciate you watching. Of course, check out CheapAssGamer.com. Check out the CADCast video game podcast on iTunes. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.